Okay, welcome back, Loopring gang, Loopring fam. We're once again looking at Loopring. Anyway, before you get in the video, if you guys could leave a like, comment, sub, all that fun stuff for the Ops channel growing, I really do appreciate it. Let me know you guys would like to see more, and it's like giving me a fist bump, and I really do appreciate it. So thank you in advance. Anyway, getting into the video. Um, so we are seeing optimistic signs for Loopring, assuming that we do end up holding this uh, with low or scam with low. Anyway, um, one of the major things here too is on the RSI, as you guys can see right on over here, I'm going to draw a line for you guys and you can see that is a downward sloping line. And then if we go back to the price chart, you know, what? let me do this. If we go back to the price chart right here, what you guys can also see is that we have a upward sloping line. So what that tells us is that is none other than bullish divergence on the RSI daily time frame uh, over a super long extended period of time. Now, the other thing here is you can clearly see this is a capitulation candle and then the following candle does also kind of look like a doji candle. Uh, and we are starting to obviously like see upside here. Now, I do want to go back into the four hour time frame because I do just want to go over that really quickly. Now, there is a chance that you do end up coming back on down. Should you end up coming back on down here where I would actually be somewhat looking for? Uh, just to show you guys. Um, wrong one. There's the box. So where you already came down to with that wick was essentially this area right here. So if we were to look like a bit higher, we'd actually be looking for right around there on that profile which i don't like i don't like that color what color do we do green we're gonna switch it over to green actually i kind of i kind of like that box anyway um green and then white that looks better anyway um continuing from there should you end up coming back down that's kind of where i'd look for it which that's between 1975 is the low end high end is 1990 um and then pushing up past that point you need to really break back above about 31 cents if you are able to get back above with open enclosures especially on the daily time frame back above 31 or even like 32 cents uh that would look very very good and then also just to check Because why not if we reverse that? Yeah, no, we didn't technically hit that, but we went like this. That does make sense. You did hit the 382 and you didn't exactly work that, but either way, you would then be fine. So then, following from there, if we do that, uh, you did tag. Oh, wait, no. So should you end up coming back on up based off of that fib, you do have 35, 36, and 38 cents. And yeah, so really other than that, I definitely would be more biased towards the upside. There is a chance that you could come back down on the smaller time frames for a quick like retest down to there and then shoot back on up. Otherwise, I think the overall direction for loop ring under the assumption that like Bitcoin and Ethereum don't just like fall off the table um that you pretty much end up shooting up from there so other than that none of this is financial advice these are all just my thoughts and opinions and you guys have a phenomenal day as always adios muchachos